Lexica for beginners, how to use Lexica tutorial. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Lexica.art website to generate a lot of cool images we can use anywhere because they're not about copyright. So basically it's pretty easy, Lexica is a stable diffusion search engine. This website provides us the opportunity to generate a lot of different images with the necessary like description so we can write anything we need and this website will generate less images looks like this so as you can see they're pretty pretty good basically um, these are the uh, works of the other users because all of the you know generated images are stay public if you have a not paid plan so basically to start working with lexica we need to firstly log in so go to website lexica.art and then in the right top corner right up here we need to click on get started so just click on it and after that we can continue with our email or continue with gmail so i have a gmail account i'll just click on continue with gmail so here we need to choose one of our accounts and after that basically everything is ready we can start working with lexica as you can see in the top of the screen we have like some options some folders home generate history likes and account this is our home page as you can see we can search for some images it means that i will search for already generated images if we need to generate, we can just click on generate and we'll move to generate area. I'd like also to uh, say about history. If you have generated some like of your photos and you want to return to them, you can of course go to history and after that just find it right up here. As you can see, it's showing like 11 results. We can select multiple and then just download it if we need. Also, we have like a liked area. We didn't like have any liked images yet. I will show you a little bit later. And account about the memberships. Let's talk about them in the end of this video. So if you go to homepage, we can see a lot of different generated uh, photos or images. And how can they be helpful as for us? Um, basically, if you like some of these uh, photos, for example, this one, you can simply click on it and then just read the description author added to these, uh, like to generate this image. So, Astronaut in Jungle by Said Mead, called Color Palette, Muted Colors, Detailed 8K. So, we can simply copy it and try to generate something like this. A little bit later, I will show you how to do this. Also, we can see the model, the guidance scale, the dimension, the upscaled, and the negative prompt. So uh, basically you can do it with any single part here. You can also just simply choose the necessary image and then just click on like. So after that, it will be saved on your likes page. So let's go to generate area and let's start to generate because this is basically the main feature of this website. What do we need to, you know, uh, add here? The, we need to describe our image and also we need to add some negative prompt. What does it mean? So the describe our image is the area where we need to describe our um, our image we want to generate as more detailed as possible. And the negative prompt it means that what don't we want to see on this image. So I want to add any negative prompt, but if you don't want, for example, F, for it to add some text, you can write here like text. Yeah. So after that, we can simply just click on generate and in a few seconds, our Lexica art will generate a few of works for us. So let's wait for a little to find is it like good. <laughs> As you can see, uh, it works uh, like this. We have like four different uh, generated images. We can simply click on any single image. We can just uh, generate variations upscale image by adding more fine details or outpaint or we can just click and load from intro download image so if you need to download what do you need you need to click here and then just click on download image so after that it will be successfully downloaded like to our computer i think it's pretty good let's try to generate versions uh, let's watch what's going on and what will happen 
and basically it will generate a little bit more with this so some more variations maybe this one is looking a little bit better because you know this mirror looks pretty good and this one is like with man here some differences are here so you can just maybe find something which is more suitable for you what i also wanted to show you is that we have like advanced setting in the right side here we can find the guidance scale like less contrast more contrast we can also like fix double heads slow crops in but what did i wanted to show you that we can add like uh, image we want to reference for so I'd like to use one of my like uh, previous uh, thumbnails here. Uh, so or maybe let's use like our logo so we can just open it here. And after that, if you'll like try to generate the same, let's watch what will happen. I think it's basically pretty interesting to know what will happen here. So uh, as you can see, now it looks like this. Something not that like is a little bit strange. But still, it's about like astronaut. Let's write something interesting, like maybe let's write like make Donald's uh, man burger. Let's watch what will happen after this prompt. So, what is interesting that you can input any uh, thing you need and it will like generate. So, as you can see, it added some burgers here or some other stuff. Let's delete it and try to generate once more. Uh, maybe it will be like more interesting because a few maybe minutes ago I tried to generate and it generated me really really good stuff. So I'll show you. It looks like this. Yeah, <laughs> much much more interesting as for me. So basically, uh, this is a way of how can we use it. We can also change the like dimension here. And what's interesting is that we can just simply click and try to upscale it for uh, some more resolution. Upscale the image by adding more fine details. So let's try to upscale this image here. Maybe it will work. It will like look much, much more interesting here. So let's wait for a little. And now it looks like this. Yeah, I think this one is pretty good basically for some menu or something like this. So... Um, also, they have like paid versions here. As you can see, we have like monthly plans and early plans. If you are paying early, of course, it will be a little bit more like good for you. You will save up to 20%. But what does it mean? The main difference between them, like we have Starter, Pro and Max, is that Starter and Pro provides us all the images are public and the Max keep images private. Also, the number of fast generations per month, like 1000, 3000 and 7000. Also like unlimited slow generations, unlimited slow generations for Pro and Max and like no slow generations for Starter. And also like uh, two to three parallel fast generations. I don't think that's like two something which is really like important. But basically, if you are going to use like Lexic Art for a long time, you can like use Starter or Pro. Maybe Starter is better, I guess. But uh, only you can decide you can also write something about it how does it the plan limit work can i buy more fast generations do you make it easy to cancel my plan can i keep my images private what are fast generations and so on so this is a way of how can we use lexica art hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day if you have any questions you can write them in the comment below i will answer for all of them goodbye